important to say that the Cuban doctors are coming at our request to reinforce, particularly because they've got particular strength uh, in the case of community medicine. That is where South Africa is very weak and therefore their presence is actually very helpful when we have to deal with the issues of uh, approaching situations such as an outbreak like we are facing where you have to actually cordon off a community and look at the health of the entire community and the spread of the infections, analyze it and look at how we can intervene at a community level. This is because our model is more hospice-centric. It's about you get sick and then go to the hospital. In Cuba, the model is different. You get seen before you get sick and they prevent you from getting sick and you don't have to go to the hospital unless it's necessary. Now that is the model which we will ultimately achieve when we get our national health insurance. But we welcome these uh, Cuban doctors. <clears throat> we welcome them quite warmly and we want to assure everybody that they will not take anybody's post they will actually be placed as a, a, a medical brigade that's come to assist us and in the process they will uh, be working alongside with South Africans.